Hey guys, Tal here. Today I'm going to be showing you an Ithaca Model 37 speed model. Originally I was going to create a tutorial, but as I started modeling it and commentating over it, I decided that it would probably be best for me to just simply show you the sped up footage while I commentate over it. I'm not going to add in any crappy music like other people do, but instead let's talk about the modeling process that's taking place. So right now I'm, I'm achieving a basic block out of the shotgun, and this is something I learned through the CG Cookie online courses. Um, those are paid courses, I highly recommend taking them if you're a beginner. Uh, but achieving a block out first is imperative to creating a good model. You do not need to go for details first. So right now I've decided to you know, stick with the basic cube shape to create my entire block out for the shotgun. Um, instead of instead of trying to go with that circle. Um, so again, achieve the basic block out, don't worry about the fine details or even the overall shape because we can fix that with a subdivision surface modifier. So now I'm applying that to everything, applying smooth shading, kind of trying to get this blockier but yet still rounded feel that the Ithaca Model 37 has. Uh, of course, the way I choose to model things since I'm not gonna retopologize anything for any game assets or any animations is I make everything that I can its own separate object. This makes it a whole lot easier to manage the topology and you don't have to be that good at Blender to create some pretty interesting stuff because I'm not that good at Blender. Uh, so right now I'm just uh, putting some edge loops on the back stock here trying to line it up get it to look good but I realized it looked a little too blocky so now I'm gonna have to kind of pull in these these edges and these vertices to make it kind of flow a little smoother. And I think it kind of did that there. So now I'm uh, focusing on the barrels, trying to get the shading issues um, fixed. And of course the bottom barrel isn't actually a barrel. It's um, just that metal piece there. So anyways, let's go back down to the back stock here. I'm gonna create that little padding by just simply extruding some of those faces off in a different selection, kind of angling it how I want. Um, you know, extruding it, kind of lining it up, just kind of getting it perfect, uh, making sure nothing's hanging off too much. But really, really basic stuff that anybody can do, really. This is a perfect shotgun for beginners to create because it is so easy. Um, this is actually my second time creating this gun. Uh, I made it on my own uh, one night and redid it today for this video. And this time it took me only 37 minutes. I think the first time it maybe took me an hour. Uh, it's a really easy shotgun. Uh, I believe it's the second gun I've made without a tutorial. Um, again, the sight is just really, really basic. Just a sphere, delete in half, extruded down. Very, very basic stuff. So the trigger guard, this is actually something interesting that I learned through some other tutorials, but starting with a circle like that and extruding it out and then deleting half those faces and then extruding these points outward, making sure to match them, of course, is actually a really effective way of creating trigger guards. And it's definitely a method I'm always going to use to make my trigger guards just because it is that powerful. All right, so now what I'm doing is, of course, mirroring this and trying to get it to the size. And what I'm gonna, how I'm gonna connect it here is I literally just push it up because this is what it kind of looks like on the real gun. It just kind of looks, it's, it looks like it's kind of pushed up in there. And uh, yeah, well, that's looking really good. Now to make the trigger, I'm just gonna take some faces, solidify that, and, you know, make it its own little object, and then uh, just push it out. You know, maybe go into proportional editing and scale it down just a little bit, uh, make it look all nice. Um, but yeah, basically, we've made a lot of progress on this shotgun, and it's only about 20 minutes into the actual modeling process. Now I'm going to make the pump. And this is really easy, but I didn't do a very good job of it, because not all of these are even. But basically what you do is you extrude and extrude and extrude again, and then at the end, you got it, you extrude yet again. You take all those lines that you extruded out, and you extrude and scale in on individual origins and it creates this effect but uh, the real shotgun isn't completely flat so I'm gonna use proportional scaling again to kind of give it this sort of thickness and this bulbiness to it and right now I'm trying to mess around with the boolean modifier so it doesn't actually clip into the barrel but I'm gonna end up not going that way I ended up not liking what it did so it is just gonna clip the barrel but at the end of the day this is only for renders um, I'm not going to be animating this. It's only to get some cool pictures. Uh, I'm not going to be 
putting this in a game or anything like that. Uh, I've yet to even mess around with that in Blender, so uh, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day what the topology looks like as long as the shading is good. And unfortunately, that means I do have some messy topology, but I'm pretty new to Blender, so I, you know it's a, it's a learning process for me. I gotta definitely work on that. But uh, again, this part's just a cube right here, and then I'm gonna subdivision surface, smooth shade it, just uh, clean up the edge loops, kind of scale it in a little bit. I'm really liking the look of it. Uh, so at this point, we're pretty much done with the shotgun. I'm trying to, at this point in the video, I'm trying to figure out, you know, what I'm missing, because I feel like I'm missing something. But it's really just the fine details. Um, I kind of mess around with some of the scaling there, but ended up just basically bailing on it all. But some of these little nuts and stuff holding it together, these little bulbous little looking nuts, I'm not really sure what they're called. I'm going to create those and um, just put those on the shotgun to add that little bit of, just a little bit of finer detail. And then of course the rest of the detail you can add in your materials and such. That's really what's going to make the gun pop out in the end is the materials you choose to use. So thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the speed modeling process, and I hope to see you in the next Blender tutorial.